What's up, everybody? Welcome back to uh, the 242nd season, where I'm playing as the Indiana Pacers through an entire My League season in NBA 2K21, and every single quarter is only 60 seconds. The Pacers now three games under 500, with three games remaining before the All-Star break. Ideally, a nice three-game win streak getting into the All-Star break would be what we're looking at, but we have some difficult opponents. We have Zion Williamson and the New Orleans Pelicans coming to town. We have the Brooklyn Nets. We have the Milwaukee Bucks. Not ideal for getting on a run before a break. However, we have a little bit of an easier time coming out of the break with the games against the Knicks, the Hornets, the Trailblazers, the Cavaliers. Maybe the Spurs are like a little 50-50. So maybe, even if we, let's say theoretically, we're 25 and 31, six games under 500, com coming or coming out of the All-Star break, maybe we get a little bit of a run going, get away from home, you know, have some success on the road. We'll see. Looking too far forward today, Zion Williamson, the New Orleans Pelicans, they are coming to town. They are 30 and 23. We are 25 and 28, as I stated earlier. I don't care about that. You keep asking me about it, though. It thinks that I'm taking this very seriously. And I'm taking this very seriously. I'm taking elements of the season very seriously, but I'm not concerned about scouting because who cares? I'm not going to continue this necessarily in this game. Maybe in the next one. We'll see. Um, you have to let me know in the comments below or you know, in the Twitch chat, whatever. Let me know if you like this kind of content. I'll keep making it if you keep watching it and enjoying it. So let me know. All right. Here we go. We're ready to go. We're crossing our fingers for a win. It's been a brutal stretch, but let's just let's work through it. Enjoy the pregame. I'll see you at the tip. Downtown Indianapolis moving at warp speed in this time-lapse footage. We're in the basketball hotbed of Indiana. Hello, everyone. Proud to bring you Wednesday night coverage of the NBA on 2K Sports. I'm Kevin Harlan, along with Greg Anthony and Brent Berry, our terrific analysts, and David Aldridge is our sideline reporter. DA, it's all yours. Kevin, thank you. Last season with the Pelicans, Brandon Ingram became a star. Often his own toughest critic, Ingram said, my motivation is being the best I can be. I can't be perfect, but if I do all I can, I think I can be close to perfect. Kevin, he's putting in the work to get as close as he can. Back to you. He is indeed, DA. Thank you. And for a look at how the competition stacks up right now, these the new power rankings. They tell a great story. To take a look at the Cavaliers, they're gaining on some of the teams above them, trying hard to crack into that top five. And check it out, Indiana. They just can't seem to find the mojo they need to move up the rankings. They've tinkered with their lineup, but so far they just keep getting the same results. Now let's take a look at the starters for New Orleans. Ingram the three and Zion the four. Ludzo is out there with J.J. Redick, and it's Adams in at the five spot. And for Indiana, Ogden and Oladipo, the backcourt duo. JaVale McGee is out there with Demonis Sabonis, and it's Holiday in at the small forward. Their arms were fading into each other. Oh, we've dropped all the way to A minus. We've seen as high as A plus home court and as low as A minus now. And it's going to be the Pacers on All right, the tip. here we go. Quick start. Down low. McGee. Here's McGee. Oladipo. Uh, I thought he would go in a little more. Uh, Oladipo playing a couple years That's of point fine. guard in Orlando when he started his career, showing off his passing ability Steven there. Adams. We have Aquaman now on the other team. Adams. Williamson outside. Bloodso outside. It's Reddick on the wing. Okay, that's shot fine. Clock at six. Okay. That shot wide that's open. That's fine. Uh, easy to see why J.J. Reddick is a guy that everybody talks about as being one of the premier shooters in the NBA. And Oladipo kicks to Sabonis. Again, got a... McGee against Reddick. Holiday. It's hauled in by Adams. Not, uh, probably not a and great Adams shot. Adams has got the ball here for the New Orleans Pelicans. Here's Bledsoe, the putback, and it's Adams on the follow. And Steven Adams just a wrecking okay, ball okay. down there with his size and strength on the offensive glass. Rogged in the pass to Oladipo. Slightly and it's off early. from three-point range. 
Okay, another quarter. Another quarter done. Another quarter where the Pacers are down by three. Redick in the corner wasn't the worst situation for me. I, I was alright with it. They took a lot of time off the clock. They, you know, found an open guy. That's alright. I gotta chill with the threes and I need to work it inside. I had a really, uh, a very large mismatch with uh, McGee on, I believe, J.J. Redick. I should have tried to take advantage of that a little bit more. Uh, I just didn't. Here's Hart. So, let's see what we can do here with the, uh, with the substitutes. I'm debating probably something I, 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 I probably talked about before up over Nance. Tip in is good. Um, what I've debated doing is calling a timeout. Maybe if I have the last possession of the second quarter, I'll, I'll call a timeout. That's not where I thought that ball was going. I will take that shot. Sometimes you just got to take a whatever shooting percentage in this quarter whatever uh, and they're starting little roll you can get that there we shot go. is off here's indiana okay. we'll played in the previous throw game it. on there's their schedule McDermott losing to the raptors kicken out to guys, just can't that to player give away points i don't know oh i think was that McDermott? McDermott should have made that three yeah, come on that was good just about free throw shooting but it can be a large factor and All disrupt right. your confidence. And it's Melly missing. Okay. No. And here's McDermott. And a close ah. game so far through the first Okay, two couldn't tie it up, but got a little closer. Elkins Only down ahead. two. We'll be on two. defense first. We'll need a good stop coming sports. out of the break. From See if we can get some things fixed and have a more successful third quarter. And now, the 2K Sports Halftime Show. Hey, welcome back to the NBA on 2K Sports. This is Ernie Johnson. Kenny the Jet Smith is right here. Say hey to the folks, Kenny. Hey, folks. Say hey to the yeah, folks, folks, Shaq. Hey, folks. Hey, let's get this party started. Okay. And one of the toughest things for any franchise to do, Shaq, trade your superstar for the unknown. But New Orleans had to be late. Listen, NBA players have more say in where they go now. Was told to see other sports follow that trend. Wow, fortunately for the Pelicans, though, they did. I mean, they gave up a superstar, but when they get a healthy Zion, it might be a great trade. And that's a wrap for our halftime show. The third quarter just about to get started. Second half of basketball upon us. We may be in for an exciting finish based on how close of a game it's been so far. Okay. Bloodsoe with it. Checking out the group for Stan Van Gundy to start the second half. Brogdon on Bloodsoe. Ingram fill out the perimeter. Ingram. So is out there with Adams. And it's Bloodsoe in at point guard. And Why, Sean? Are you kidding me, McGee? Thank you, dear, sweet basketball gods in heaven. Oh, my goodness. Now the pass to Ingram. Wudzo for three. Gets it to go from beyond the arc. Good. My, uh, my stupid mortal, basketball mortal brain. Answer with the three right back and take the lead. That is what we call being beyond clutch. Now, okay. here's Brogdon. Reset, reset, reset. Holiday looking over the floor. Outside to Brogdon. Get it. The assist that time Get it. Holiday. All of a sudden, the threes are dropping. Three. That is They're what you like to see. To the middle. Here's Williamson. Yes. That's a great. Five. Cool. Fantastic. I just for once for once would like a defense that like stops that. someone power and body control leading the points first trip to the free throw line for him tonight all right 2.1 we can still get something here maybe like a uh, like an easy two a deep two or something I don't know okay we'll just go ahead and skip that The 
a terrific end one on that one. Those are the kind of plays, guys, that win basketball games. Off the inbound, and ah, the second attempt does not Just go wanted the little roll in. Not the biggest deal in the world. We won the tip at the beginning of the game, so we get the ball first in the fourth quarter. Not the biggest deal in the world. It's fine. It's fine. In a moment now, as we take a look at our State Farm assists of the game. And the definition these are the of teamwork right there, these are kind I of the mean, frustrating games where it's like you're getting you're getting some good bounces you're getting some good rolls you know like JaVel, JaVel time, McGee making a three-point shot for some reason feel, that feels nice great I just can't get stops on the other end organic. to like mount a lead hold a lead and with these teams here we go we're gonna work with the two the, the idea at least of a two-point 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 shot Jeremy Lamb out there with Nance, and it's Turner in at the center position. That's the Pacers' five. No. Turner oh, came out Turner. a little. Some nice passing here Are you Indiana. kidding me? With some arc, it drops. Remember that one, guys, a difference maker. Now I'm wondering, is that the biggest shot of the game? Here's Turner. It's good. We go. and he is okay. We still don't necessarily points. need to foul. I don't know if... Relying on a turnover is my best is best bet. For his team. But we did get that kind of nice break against I don't know, two right, Toronto. Okay, there we go. There we go. And here's Oladipo. He'll bring it up for the Pacers. Turner is not an outside Turner, player. Post. He's he can on find here. something on the inside. For three, Brogdon. If it goes, it's a win. If it misses, it's a loss. So it's a narrow victory for the Pelicans, pulling it out for the W. Should have gone to Turner. Should have gone to Turner for the the mid range too. Accomplishment and crazy finish to take a game like this and simply deflate an entire building. And that's going to deflate an entire franchise. I am falling up hard here. This is Kevin Harlan along with our twenty one and ten. 21 you, and 10. So long and good night, and it, we are now 25 and 28. That is 4 and 18 in the last 22 games. I thought, I even thought too, like 25 and 29. My apologies. Hold on. Hang on. We're 4 and 19. I thought taking a nice, a nice break would, uh, would help things. No, it hasn't. I don't want to give up McDermott or Brogdon. You guys are stuck here with us. Nope. We're good. Oh, God. So a heartbreaking two-point loss. Should have gone to Turner, who was just off to the right when I kind of drove it down there. It, it's the the look I've I've been liking lately of trying to drive in, get the defense to collapse, kick out. I threw it back to the... Top of the three-point line, not really the best um, best move on my part, but halfway through the homestand, we're 0-2. Team chemistry is at 39%. The win-loss is now four under. And, uh, oh, the Brooklyn Nets are coming to town. So we'll see you next time on the 242nd season. Yay.